Welcome back to the channel everyone. So Sherika Jackson is intent on breaking the 200 meters world record this season. She has two more opportunities to do so. However, she is bent on getting it in uh, Belgium because she believes that it is a fast track. She almost got a personal best last year, she said in the 100 meters and the track wasn't up to par. Now they have laid a new track. And of course, we all know that Belgium always have fast track yeah so she believed that this track is the one that she's going to go after because if she doesn't get it here she believes it's going to be a lot of pressure now she was also asked if it comes with a lot of uh what you'd call it obsession to try and get this world record she said no you worked hard you trained hard for this you know what i mean and this is what you're going after this is your dream yeah but for me people Sherika Jackson has to do these things in order to not only she has to do the weather has to be correct and has to be right the wind reading has to be perfect for her because if she had gotten a better wind reading at the uh, world championship of course the world record would have been shattered yeah but when you look at it she needs a very good wind reading the climatic condition has to be there also Sherika Jackson has to run that turn. She has to get out. She has to put it together and when she reaches in that in that straight in that home stretch Sherika Jackson has to relax Relax Don't give her muscles a lot of tension Because when the muscles are tense, there's not a lot of oxygen Moving around in the muscles and you need that in order to be relaxed So she needs to do that to run fast if she executes a very good race with wind reading, relaxation, she doesn't have to have anybody in the race to push her. Because most times, world records are broken when you don't have a lot of top athletes. You see, in Bolt is the exception. You understand? So I think she has to get that right in order to get that world record. But more so, the climatic condition has to assist her. It has to. I say it out. I say it without reservation. It has to assist her, and once it assists her, then of course you will have a new world record holder in Brussels, coming from Jamaica, by the name of Sherika Jackson. Listen to what she has to say about uh, her season, and I also am paying attention to that job not being completed in the 400 meters. You know, is it a situation? where it can be her mind is not really focused she wants to do the 400 so she's not capitalizing on the other event hmm. will we have another situation of melane walker i doubt it though but it's something to muse on it's something to think on your thoughts share it in the comment section people and thanks again if you read this far of the video, there's another section where you're going to hear what Sherika Jackson is saying. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can become a part of the Coach's Desk family. And of course, big up yourself. Stay tuned as you continue to listen. Run here in Brussels. Um, you also had a very busy program in the last uh, couple of weeks, months, may even maybe. How do you feel? Thanks for having me. Good day, everybody. I think for me personally, I felt good. Um, I got a couple of days off since the Zurich meet, so my body's feeling fresh and I'm definitely ready tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> um, at the World Championship, I was so close, you know, um, just a little win and I'll be, I would have been the world record holder, but Coach and I have spoken and I think we are going after it this year. I hope to get it tomorrow. If it, if I do, then that would be a probably ease a little pressure off me going into Eugene. But if not, we have another shot at Eugene. And as I said, um, there's no perfect race, but I just want to run a good race tomorrow. And once I put everything in place, um, um, definitely, because we're right there. We, we're so close. We're knocking on the door. And as I said, it would be good tomorrow if we have some Jamaican weather and it's a new track. So definitely, once I put everything together, if not here, then Eugene. If not, then still have another chance. You know, have as I said, tomorrow I just want to focus on putting things together. I 
go what if <laughs> tomorrow is supposed to be a good day <laughs> tomorrow is definitely supposed to be one of those good days i as i said my body's feeling good my mind is ready and that's the best thing i can put together my mind and my body Every, anything is possible tomorrow um, I haven't received my bibas yet. I think at the World Championship, <laughs> I rode two times on my bib, which one was faster than the world record, and I rode 21.40. I got 21.41. I'm grateful but not satisfied. And as I said, um, for me personally, I looked at the meeting record, and I know that what the meeting record is. So, oh, wow. I'm definitely, uh, as I said, I'm in good shape. I'm still in good shape. And we went back to the drawing board and fixed a few things. So once we put everything together. As I said, the weather is good. Most times I come here, it's always chilly, but we have Jamaican weather tomorrow. Yes, so that, 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 that is fantastic. <laughs> so definitely that's fantastic for me tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, well, I've always here before and as <laughs> as Munda said, there was times where we had the track, the track is fast because I almost run a personal bit in the 100 last year when the track wasn't smooth. We have a little bit of patches on here and there, but as I said, to have a level track and a new track, I think it it's a good, it's good because last year we had patches, oh, sorry, but yeah, so <laughs> last year we had some smooth part and we have some part was that wasn't so smooth. So to have a smooth surface first all around i think it's really really good i have so much more to achieve in the 200 as i said before the 400 is something i love i am yet to achieve my 400 goals are breaking the national jamaican record so i think i think someday coach will revisit the 400 it's no time soon but someday we'll definitely visit it but for now uh, as long as I can run next year is the Olympic, and then um, we see one year at a time. So as long as I am able to run well and be among the best, then definitely as long as possible. Is it a kind of obsession? Um, I don't think it's an obsession. I think when you work hard and you know what you're capable of, then you write goals and you want to achieve them. Um, for me personally, I. I've always, because I saw a video the other day when I was in high school and I manifested everything I want. And when I switched to the, to the 100 and 200, I know I, what I wanted and I know what I'm capable of. I'm so close. Not that don't mean that I will lose my focus trying to just focus on the world record. As I said, once I execute a good race, then definitely anything is possible for me. But as I said, I don't think it's an obsession, it's hard work. And when you work hard, you want to reap what you work for. You be back in Jamaica? Um, honestly, I don't know. It would be good because, um, as I said, to um, get there, it would definitely be good for the newspaper at home and definitely family and friends. But I, I don't really know. I haven't really paid that much attention. What would it be like? To, oh, it's all over the paper because eventually if you break a world record, it will be all over the internet before it eats the paper. So mm, definitely I haven't really dwelled on it like that.